Hey folks, welcome back to my channel, Pilot Fun 101, and my name is Chris Lee. So I get emails about how much planes cost to operate, maintain, to buy, um, the buying pr process, which I went over my last couple videos ago, which was on my channel, and I'll put it at the end of this channel so you guys can look at that also. And I also get emails about how to get your private, how much does it cost, what do you have to go through, who do you contact, great questions. Um, but just like owning an airplane, it's very difficult to give you an exact amount of money how much it's going to cost you because you have a couple of options and depending where you go and, and where you live, it might be more, it might be less. So I will give you what I went through, unfortunately it's about 13 years ago, and I'll also give you current pricing on flight schools um, and a third party flight instructor uh, also. Uh, but thank you guys so much for the emails. Uh, when I read these emails, it's like, okay, you, you guys are watching, you're interested, and you're the, the, the most important thing is you're interested about aviation, which makes me more happy because it, it, it makes me feel that the videos I'm doing and taking the time to do so is just not going to the wayside. It's actually getting out there for you guys to look at, um, to watch, and to know the basics about aviation, and, and that's what... 101 basically means is the basics of aviation and to make you guys excited to get involved in it because we because the country is about 3,000 pilots short right now so it's good time to get into it so let's speak about getting into it let's get into how much getting your private costs it could be expensive all depends how you want to structure it um, okay so basically what that means is how fast can you get through the course um, you know, are you going to do a couple hours here, a couple hours there? And, you know, how much you absorb from the instructor learning. Um, if you do a couple hours this week and you wait a month to do a couple hours, you're going to lose a lot of, you know, uh, the previous training tips that the, the instructor might have for you. So it's good to kind of do it weekly. Um, even if you're not doing hands on uh, with the instructor in the airplane, it's good to review your course materials for the ground schooling part of your training. So let's get into it, start from the beginning. So flight school. Take flight aviation at Orange County, Hangar D. Uh, awesome people, instructors are awesome, the facility is nice, the airplanes are kept up, they're nice, they're basically, I believe, except for maybe one or two, don't quote me on this, they're all diamonds, um, they have twins, uh, they're maintained, they have a maintenance department over there, they do all their 100 hours uh, inspections, awesome mechanics, awesome instructors. They really, really get involved with their students and it's awesome to see that. And as you guys know with the videos, you always hear diamonds uh, in the pattern at New York, um, Orange County. And that's mostly the students with an instructor and do, or doing their um, solo flights, which is, which is really cool to observe and see because the instructor's on the ground, usually by the taxiway, watch them doing touch and goes um, for the first time, seeing your student fly by themselves for the first time can be kind of nail biting or excited for them all at the same time. So take flight aviation at Orange County, New York, awesome group of people. So how much does it cost? Um, again, you have to do a, a minimum of 40 hours uh, before you can actually go up with a uh, check ride instructor that's qualified by the FAA to do so, to sign off, the real sign off to get your license in the mail. So you got to figure um, a flight school like Take Flight um, with some ground schooling, uh, with the airplane and the fuel and the instructor to do your 40 hours, you're looking at about $12,000. Um, it's a lot of money but they do everything from start to finish with you. Um, the ground schooling part is not really a classroom type setting. It's not, you're not going to bore you to death with classroom material. Um, they'll give you a program to, to, to go into um, if you're at home, if you can sneak away at work for your hour break, 
uh, or there or wherever you're at um, a um, internet based type course that you can go through and they will keep on you with that they will log in and see what you're doing and make sure you're doing it um, and that's all based on you the twelve thousand dollars might be a little less the twelve thousand dollars might be more it all depends how focused you are of getting the book work done which is like seventy percent ish of this whole experience uh, because it goes over everything airspace is charts it's just everything you can even just google it and check it out so it's twelve thousand dollars now if you get into 45 hours and then 50 hours because you might have done you know a bunch of hours this month you take a month or two off you know but you know it, it's you're going to take time much more time to keep your, yourself thinking and fresh in your mind for that check ride uh, so it's it's good to at least fly once a week at minimum before you get your check ride obviously and the instructor once the instructor feels safe and and know you'll pass that they'll sign off for that and you're on your way as per the ground schooling it's all up to you uh, for the most part they're there to help you you know but if you got to really fo focus on that so that's basically how much it's going to cost for a flight school to train you from nothing to a private pilot now when it comes to a third party instructor and what I mean by that is it's not a flight school, it's a person who is able to teach you as an instructor who's certified by the FAA to do so. Um, and that's what I did about 13 years ago is use a third party and rented a, a, a Cessna 150 um, and then a, a Cherokee 140 <clears throat> at the time. So pricing then was a lot less, well I wouldn't say a lot, it was a little less than it is today brought about twenty dollars an hour difference 25 so it's not crazy difference than it than it was years ago so for an example and I have notes you know I can't remember anything um, you gotta do the 40 hours and basically the breakdown is again don't quote me on the exact amount of money per hour because it could change where you're at and what person you uh, look into if real quickly if you guys are interested in a third party um, instructor you can email me at pilotfun101 at gmail.com and I will give you his information if you're interested in a flight school you know just Google take flight aviation in Orange County New York or in Hangar D and they will take care of you from there on in and again that if you're in the area use that flight school they're great um, so third party instructor is about 75, 85, 65 in that ballpark per hour just for his or her time. Um, the airplanes that I know of and what, what my instructor knows of to this day is a Cherokee 140 um, and or a Cessna 150, 152. Awesome planes to train on because you really can't mess up a landing on those. Um, they're about $65 a day dry. And what does dry mean? That means that you have to pay for the fuel. So if you figure out 40 hours and a Cessna um, or a Cherokee 140 burns five, six gallons an hour, you know, just, just, you know, just do $4.50 times 40, that's going to be how much you're going to spend over time in fuel. So I didn't factor that in. So if you do the $75 per hour, with the instructor, $65 an hour for the airplane, which is available to this day. Okay, you're looking at about fifty-six to seven thousand um, dollars with an third-party instructor. But it's up to you now, a hundred percent, to get the ground schooling done on your time. Uh, a flight school will push you to do it and, and monitor you. Any questions you may have, you know, which you got to pay for. Um, but when you go to a third party. They, you know, they'll answer some of your questions when you're calling them up about certain things in the day and what, and what you've done, but they're not going to sit down and really go over anything with you with the ground schooling. So I use King's, uh, King's Schools. Um, you guys are probably familiar with that, you know, the guys who are pilots. And if you're not, again, Google King Schools. Uh, they, they're, it's awesome. Husband and wife, you know, they've been doing this for a long time. 
Um, and that's what I used to the whole course. And I studied during the morning hours I woke up and before I went to bed I studied. And that's why I did it on my own. But again, it's up to you. The most important thing is go up, number one, and check it out for an hour. Make sure you even like it. Okay, number two, you really need to focus on ground schooling and the the instruction of flight and how it works, the charting, you know, VOR approaches, GPS approaches. It's, it's a lot of things learned about cloud structures, clouds, uh, formations, and weather, and thunderstorms, and how they all work, and how the atmosphere works, leading edges of the airplane. There's a lot of different things to learn, but you got to push yourself to do that. The most, you know, the hardest thing about all this is a written exam. But if you study for it, you're not going to have an issue passing a written exam. So you can pass that written exam before you even solo as a student pilot. And we'll get to that in a minute about students. Uh, and you can pass that, and it's good for two years. So in that two years, you, you, you pass that written, and it's out of the way. Now you can focus really on uh, flying with the instructor and, and, and moving on. Um, and that's what I kind of did. Uh, but the student pilot situation is, you know, back then, you know, the instructors sign off on your medical and that was your student certificate. But now you have to go through the background process um, and get actually a card that says you're a student. Um, but you can solo by yourself depending on how you do and depending on, on, on how much you retain, of course, uh, within 10 hours. Um, between 7 and 10 hours you can solo. And again, that's on you. If you do an hour here, you know, then you wait a month or two and do an hour, you're just hurting yourself. You're wasting those hours because you're never going to retain the information to go solo by yourself. And a student pilot, once you become a student pilot, you can, you can mess around in a pattern by yourself. And you can't take passengers, you know, the, the, the instructor will sign off on certain winds you might, might not handle. Whatever he's comfortable with, you got to follow. But you'll be wasting your time doing it here and there uh, because that 40 hours, like I said before, could turn into 45, 50, 60, 70 hours, 80 hours before you know it. Now you just, you just spent, you know, or, or wasted 30 hours um, of your money uh, because you were not doing it consistently. And I get it, you know, $7,000-ish, <laughs> don't quote me on that, for a third party and, and about $12,000 for a flight school. It's expensive, uh, but, you know, I had three jobs and a part, about four jobs um, getting and saving as much as I could back then to become a pilot um, and so on and so on. There's other, there's other stuff going on, but I had to take care of family matters, but that's what we do. But it, it also saved me enough money to continue my pilot um, program and to move forward. And my instructor was always pushing me, even when I was down and out push me along and push me along and push me along, got me excited again and push me along. And that's what I'm trying to do with this channel is to push you guys and, this, and, and I get a lot of watch hours, which is really cool. Not a lot of subscribers right now, but I get a lot of watch hours, thousands and thousands of watch hours. Uh, so people are watching, but are not really subscribing yet. Uh, so please subscribe if, if you are watching. Uh, but this is what I'm trying to do. And you guys can put time away, put time aside you know, don't go out this night, you know, tell the girlfriend or the boyfriend to, hey, you know, I'm going to chill, I'm going to study for this exam, I want to get it out of the way, and, and get it out of the way. Just get it out of the way. Uh, too many people, uh, you know, get so close to their student and are so close to their private and they drop out. Um, and I've seen this so many times because my hangar is right in front of, you guys know, is right in front of the flight school. And I talk to some of these guys and they drop out. And they drop out and it's like why are you dropping out well I, the exam seems to be too overwhelming it's not you just study 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 you will be fine it's it's multiple choice multiple guess <laughs> multiple choice and nine times out of ten you can knock off through three of the questions or the answers because they don't make any sense once you keep studying and once you get out of the way you guys are home free and the check ride with the FAA certified instructor you know, your instructor will go over you, go over with you what they're going to want to see, what they're going to want to do. And when that's all done, folks, it's over. You're a private, and then you move on if you want to do commercial and your IFR stuff. Once you have that piece of paper, actually it's a license now, um, it's your license to continue 
to learn and to experience the great things about aviation. Trust me when I tell you, I've learned so much with my license, going to different airports, different airspaces, talking to ATC. I used to, I used to be afraid of talking to ATC. And it's so natural to me now of keep doing it and doing it. And it's an awesome experience. And when it's all done and said, you guys are going to be happy. Uh, but it's work. Um, you know, we, we want things as humans. We will work for it to get what we want. And once you have that, it's going to be awesome. Um, and airplanes, of course, to buy. You can buy smaller ones. You can buy bigger ones. Take your time and, and have fun with it, folks. So recap quickly. I hope I'm not boring you guys. But recap quickly is about $12,000 for a flight school. I highly recommend Take Flight Aviation in Orange County, New York. Again, I can't say anything bad about that place. Awesome people, even when I talk, they're just awesome people overall. They really care about their students. And other thing is third-party instructor. It'll, it'll save you about $4,000, but there's a lot to do on your end with a third party of ground school. You gotta really take it you know, and, and go with it and, and do it on your own and study with it. It's, it's really good. And the program, uh, King Schools, awesome program. All right, folks? So if you, if you have any questions at all, um, if you want information on Take Flight Aviation, if you want information on uh, the person that I've used who's still available today uh, with those prices, uh, email me at pilotfun101 at gmail.com. And thank you guys so much for the emails. It's, it makes me really doing this, it's making it, it's, what's the word I'm trying to use here? It's, it's keep me going basically to make these videos. It's not just going to the wayside. You guys are, are watching, you're interested, and that's just awesome. I've had people who just got their private who who was just didn't want to really do it until they saw all the videos and they got excited about them and then they got him uh, the guy from Texas who was 62 years old who'd been wanting his license for you know since he was in his teens you know he was telling me on email and uh, going way back and he just got his private in February just for watching my videos and it, it will get you inspired to do things and it's an awesome thing to do and you guys will love it and I hope you guys enjoy my videos as well. Um, again, pilotfun101 at gmail.com with any questions you may have. You can also follow me on Facebook. Facebook now, um, I checked this morning, I think I'm over 8,500 followers, if you can believe it, on Facebook. How? I don't know, but there's 8,500 plus followers on my Facebook page at pilotfun101. And guys, please subscribe to my channel, that'd be, that'd be awesome. Um, keeps me going. Um, you know, if you want automatic notifications, you can hit the bell, uh, and every time I upload a video, you get automatically notified of the videos that are coming out. I try to do one a week. You know, I might sneak in one more in a week. That's why I try to do for you guys. But anything you need, let me know. We're all in this together in the aviation family. So, like always, folks, fly safe, be safe. Until next time, see ya.